Ferrocene uh, FerroBlink scanner processing. So I have the USB drive that I downloaded the uh, project from the scanner onto. Uh, you have to have Ferrocene 2025 or newer for this uh, workflow to work. So uh, thumb drive inserted into my computer. The computer will ask you, hey, do you want to do a project transfer? The idea that you should say is definitely yes here because it'll look at the thumb drive, I import the project. So well, let's do a project transfer here. Simply put, you know, it's the same as what it used to be and still is with a um, focus scanners. So now we have a project. It's locally. So you can see that I'm not actually logged into my uh, Sphere uh, XG account. So I'm uh, just doing everything locally on this computer. I'm going to hit process scans here. I'm going to process all four at once. They, there's a slight difference in the software here because it understands that it was blink data. It doesn't recommend the focus data sets, but it's pretty much the same as what we're used to if you're familiar with focus scanning. So um, create scan point cloud still on, blink if you want to do a distance filter on it, specify your distance filter. I usually don't do distance filters if I don't know where the scan took place. You can find your targets if you use targets. I didn't, so this is pretty much it. There's nothing else. Registration. You can try the automatic registration. I recommend not doing it because at least you'll have a little bit of control over what's going on. So we'll just hit start processing and wait for the data to come in. The fact that the uh, Ferro Blink scans are relatively uh, large is something that will require you to just sit back and relax and wait until the actual processing is done. And while we're talking, uh, let me show you the size of the actual project here, four scans is 1.42 gigabytes. So each one of the scans is about what? Well, you can tell about 400, close to 400 megabytes. So they're not small scans by any means, but it's uh, a still a uh, good price to pay for the speed that the data collection takes place with and the quality of pictures. So I'm going to speed this process up until uh, it's finished and then we'll continue. All right, it looks like it's done processing. So let's have a look at the actual registration. So registration, go into interactive registration and to inherit the actual links that or the connections that you saw while your data collection was happening, uh, interactive is the best to do so. Let me cut through the actual data with a clipping box. Turn the clipping box off. I have my connections. Let's just do a refinement of these connections benefit of doing it on your own computer is just the speed. It's faster than uh, doing it with Sphere XG, depending on the project size, of course. If you have a huge project, then XG might be actually faster. But for a small project like what I have over here, the upload and download times uh, might be a little bit, you know, time restrictive at that point. Here I can get a registration done in relatively quick time. I can add a connection just to you know, refine my uh, registration if I want to get another uh, value here. I'm within 1.5 millimeters, so apparently average 1.5 millimeter tension, which is amazing. I am done with my registration. Can go into explore, view the project. My clipping box is still on, so we will delete it because I don't need it anymore. Here is the actual data. Uh, let's have a look at the actual imagery. So imagery is HDR on the blink scanner. So that's awesome. Uh, less likely to not be able to see underneath tables and stuff. But there you go. So this is now done, which means uh, now your project is fully processed. I'm going to hit save and say registered and processed. And now the next step would be just as you're used to or interested in to your export going into uh, creating a RCP project if you're going into Autodesk or just exporting by any other means. Uh, you know, if you're going to go into a separate software which requires these file formats. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them below.